Hey guys, Coach Lindsay here with Fit With Nutrition and Anthony's here as well too. So today, as you guys know, I am a certified macronutrition coach and I'm here to help spread all knowledge of health, fitness, and lifestyle choices. So today we are going to talk about the hard truth of dieting or weight loss. So we're going to dive right in, so stay tuned. first hard truth that's Batman in the background he's our dog so um, if you hear that just kind of ignore him he's just part of the fam so you have to say no and you're going to say no to overeating so when you're in a fat loss or weight loss phase you have to consume less calories than you burn or vice versa you have to burn more calories than you consume so yes you are going to have to say no to that third or fourth cocktail or that second slice of pizza um, so you're going to have to say no in some areas that you just have to keep your goal in mind when it comes to you know you doing this and making the choice to reach your goal when my, my favorite thing to ask people, they're like, I want to lose weight, but I just don't know how. And it's like, well, I'm like, so, so what do you eat? What do you eat on a normal day? Well, I eat good. And that's, that's like, that's where I just want to pump the brakes to first to start. By, by eating good, just because you eat what you consider healthy food does not mean that you're eating in a caloric deficit or eating, you could possibly be eating too much of those healthy foods to where you're over your calories and you're still not losing the weight that you want to lose. So that's where it comes very important to weighing out your food. If you're just eyeballing it or kind of guessing, you're gonna, your weight loss is gonna be the same exact thing. You're gonna eyeball or guess your weight loss. Like the, you, you need to precise numbers. I'm gonna tell you right now, tracking is not fun. There's nothing fun about it. Like it, it's time consuming, it's, it takes a lot out of your day. You have to plan your meals. You have to weigh every individual thing out. I got rice in my bowl or I got my, my rice weight and now I got to put the chicken in there and then I want to have asparagus. I got to weigh that out. It's not fun, but if your goal is to lose weight, it's something that you have to do. It's just, there's no, there's just no way around it. Like you, you have to be as accurate with your numbers as possible or otherwise whatever your coach gives you, you're just pretty much just throwing it away. Mm -hmm. And we, yeah, they make it a little bit easier. There's apps up there like MyFitnessPal that are easy for tracking, especially if you like to go and eat out. Um, there's a lot of different types of food scales that you can use that are travel friendly. And a lot of foods, um, they have, you know, pre-portioned um, options for you, single serves, like tuna packs. So, but if you cannot manage what you don't measure. So it's super important to- Definitely, That's what you have to do. Yeah, and everyone's body's different. So everyone's needs are completely different too. So it's really just gonna come down directly to you and the individual. So the another hard truth is you've gotta be better at managing your time you have to prioritize yourself and your goals so it might be that you sound selfish in your family but you have to remember you're taking this six months or you know however long you're taking to achieve your goal and, and fix your health that you have to make that time for you. So maybe it's writing out a daily schedule every day, hour by hour, or fitting in that hour of a workout or 30 minutes uh, crunch time at work, or just taking a lap around your house a few times, or you know, walking your dog extra, take your kids outside. So make sure you're prioritizing that time and prioritizing your meals as well too, so you stay on track. And there's a lot of different ways to be at a caloric deficit. Like there's a lot of people like, I, I love the keto. I love to just eat my protein and my fats. And I'm not going to say that, I mean, that's not what we do. 
but I'm not going to say no to that. Like carbs that's, are good. That car, yeah, we, we love the carbs. And your but muscles love them too. The thing is that you have to be at that caloric deficit and micros, micros are huge. Even if you're on keto or not, you've got to get all of your veggies in. Like I know a lot mm -hmm. of people that say, I can't do veggies. I don't like veggies. Your body is not yeah. going to react well without getting the proper micronutrients. So mm -hmm. it is very important to get those greens. You want your salad, your kale, your spinach, uh, asparagus, broccoli. Those, your body needs those those types of foods to do well, especially if you're trying to not only diet, but perform well in the gym. If you're trying to lift heavy without micronutrients, forget about it. You're gonna be winded, you're gonna be exhausted, and your body's just not gonna give the output that it needs. Yeah, yeah, and they make shakes that are out there that you can kind of mix them with water if you're really hardcore, no veggies. But I mean, I'm not going to tell you that they taste like sunshine and rainbows. They probably don't. Um, so you just might as well eat the real thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And you, I mean, another thing, uh, having an accountability partner. I, I'm telling you right now, everybody asks me, they come to the gym, how do you stay so lean? How do you stay so lean? And I'm like, in my opinion, I, I'm not very lean. I could be leaner. But my, my biggest thing is my accountability partner right here. Is this a little she, halo? Little she, halo on top of this head? She keeps me in track. I'm telling you. It, it, it's having that accountability partner, that, that person in your life that's like, I thought your goal was to lose weight, but you're, you're over here eating these foods. Are you tracking those foods? If, if so, I, how are you making those fit in? Having somebody to give you those questions is huge for your success because it realizes you look down and you're like, you're right, babe. I, I didn't I didn't track those. And if I do track those, it's it's not gonna fit into my numbers. It's not gonna help me hit my goals of losing weight. So maybe I should find a better calorie dense food uh, other than treats or extra yeah. carbs or whatever it is that we decide to eat. Having that accountability partner is just mm -hmm. I mean, if 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 she wasn't here, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Yeah. So I I know firsthand that it, that is probably one of the biggest mm -hmm. things. Yeah. is having somebody like that in your life and and asking them for help i mean even if your partner's not you know trying to lose weight ask them for your support because you might even influence them and help them with their health like just low-key on the side so just you know letting them know what your goal is like you have you have to just shout it out to the world because having that sense of community and that's why he, us at fit with nutrition we have a sense of community that you know you can share what's going on with your life you can talk to other people who are experiencing the same thing that you're doing even if you you know you might feel like you're alone where you are so that's why um it's so important to have that community that accountability or you know even having a coach like me helping you every step of the way if you know you don't have anyone that's kind of in your inner circle that's going to support you every day and that's where another thing with what we teach at my, uh, our Fit With Nutrition is the flexible dieting. Like if you know that Friday and Saturday night you're going to go out with the guys and you're going to wings, beer, sports, whatever it is, then with flexible dieting, you can make that so that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're just pulling back on those on those calories so that you're making room for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, whatever days. If yeah. you know you're gonna go over some days, let's let's get with your coach that you that you have and let's dial it back in the beginning of the week so that at the end of the week you're still at a caloric deficit. You're still hitting your goals and you yeah. had an amazing weekend That's with your friends. That's the most important part. So you can't be a weekend destroyer, you have to be a weekend warrior because you have to stay in that caloric deficit still as an average. So you can't just go and have like a bajillion calories and just go for a free-for-all. You have to still stay in that caloric deficit. So another thing you have to do is you might have to outsource. So again, like with hiring coach, like us here at Fitwit, um, you might need to find a, a, a meal prepping company that's going to help you prepare your meals. So I cook all the meals for us. Sometimes he does too, um, occasionally. I don't it's, cook as much as she does, I'm going to be honest. Like she, she does majority of the cooking and I am, I am extremely thankful for it because I, I, like I said, wouldn't be here without it. So. so I cook everything on Sundays. It takes me about two hours of my entire life to um, shop, prep, cook, and portion everything out. I'll do about 10 to 12 meals. So that's gonna last us through the week. If you need to outsource, there's meal prep companies out there like Clean Eats, there's Flex Pro Meals, 
There's um, like Not Your Mama's Tupperware if you're in the uh, Indianapolis yeah, area. King Cow Kitchen. King Cow Kitchen. Um, Icon Meals. Guys, there's a lot of options out there. So, I mean, if you're willing to, you know, spend a little bit of extra money to have that meal prepared for you so you save time, then by all means, go get it. Um, you know, there's outsourcing opportunities like grocery shopping. They have grocery pickup, grocery delivery. So, that's going to save you time on doing that as well, too. So, just make sure that, you know, you're asking for help and finding ways to prioritize and save some time there for you as well. And another thing, if if you're out there and you're just like something, an event comes up at work, I tell them this all the time, hey, the guys had, uh, we had breakfast, all right? We went out, we had food, and I didn't, there's, we went to a place where it's untrackable. Uh, I, I kind of fell off today. That's fine. If it happens, it happens. It's important to log something close to what you feel that you hit. So if I had an omelet so I'll, from a, a restaurant that isn't trackable, I'll log an omelet with everything I had on it from like Denny's. Mm -hmm. And then I already know that today's, you know, I, I messed up today. Like it, it didn't fit, but we're gonna go ahead and today's a watch. Tomorrow we're starting right back on to where we get the, the most important thing, getting right back on the bandwagon. Don't yeah. let one bad day ruin your whole week. Don't Don't turn a bad day into a bad week. Yep. And then a bad two weeks, and then you're just, I'm off. I'm like, and you just lose, spiral out of control. Don't let that happen. It just takes one, all right, I, I had a, a bad breakfast. Today is a wash, but tomorrow I'm right back on it. I'm going to hit my macros, and I'm, I got goals to hit. So that's mm -hmm. got to keep that in, keep that in mind. Yeah. And, um, you know, you have to take time you have to be patient in this process it it sucks like this is probably the, like one of the hardest truth that you have to do in this because like we want instant results like we have amazon prime we literally like everything's just at our fingertips you have social media everything is right here and so just with our weight loss like yeah we want this magic pill yeah we want this like quick fix it's not like that i'm sorry unless you you know, you're genetically blessed with a metabolism and somehow something happened, but no, it's going to take time. So, you know, you didn't, you know, gain all of your weight in a day, in a week. So it's going to take that same amount of time to get that off. So it might take you six months, a year, two years. Um, it really just depends on how aggressive you go. But the most important thing is that you're doing this in a healthy Healthier. manner yeah you want to make sure that you know you're not depriving yourself your hormones are good your sleep is good your stress is good and you're not feeling like you're starving yourself so you're just going to go into like a gigantic binge cycle because you feel like you're just you can't have anything at all and another thing off that i would say if you can stay try to stick away from the supplements i there's so many supplements out there that are like oh the the hydroxy cut or the this take this pill it'll help you yeah. burn fat like just i'm not saying that those are bad but those aren't the answer there's so many yeah. ways to do it better than those pills yeah. okay there's just i i would not because some of those pills you people get addicted to them mm -hmm. and they're like i gotta have i gotta have this pill it's gonna make yeah. me and if, if a pill ever tells you that oh you take this pill and you're gonna lose weight right here in your stomach yeah. Total total BS. It's I'm telling you gonna, right now, they're, yeah. they're, they're, you cannot target fat in your body. Your body yeah. will choose to pull fat from your body on your mm -hmm. caloric deficit. It usually starts from the outside and it works its way in. There's no pill that targets the gut. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not possible. Yeah, it's just gonna make your pee expensive. So the things that we recommend to our clients is gonna be a vitamin D, a nice like probiotic as well too. Um, we want to make sure that you're getting your fish oil and a DHA, your omega threes, and as well too, it's very important. Um, we might suggest a creatine depending upon what your goals are, but that's it. Like we don't recommend anything. Maybe some magnesium if they're having some trouble sleeping, um, or some like digestive issues as well too. But that's it. Um, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on everything. And now, I mean, if you like protein powder, then you can pick that up as well too. But that's, I mean, that's all you, that's all you need, um, to be successful in that area. And that's just the, the, one of the, the main reasons for this video is just dieting is not fun. We get everything we can to make it as enjoyable of a process as, as possible, but it's not, it's not enjoyable like I, we all love food we love to eat food it just really depends on where 
your goals lie. So we really want all of our clients and new clients to hit their goals. And we at Fit With Nutrition give you the best possible way to hit your goals and to have as much fun as you can doing it. Yeah, so we really focus on your mindset when it comes to, you know, weight loss because it is a struggle with a lot of people. You know, we focus on, um, you know, trigger foods, emotional eating, your attitudes, your beliefs. We have a lot of different areas that you can look at the at your mind and how you view this differently. So, you know, as far as attitudes, you know, we can have a positive attitude about this because you're reaching a goal. You know, it's, it's very important to know that, hey, I'm feeding my body for fuel, not for comfort. I need to find other ways to relax and de-stress other than food. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, that piece of chocolate or that bowl of cereal or cake or whatever you eat, whenever you get home, for me, it was a bowl of cookie dough and ice cream. It's not gonna solve your problem, I promise you talk to someone, go see a therapist, whatever you got to do, go for a walk, go punch something. I don't know. You literally, there's so many different ways that you can relieve your stress and give yourself a better feeling than what that food's going to do for you because that's just going to set you way behind your goal and where you're trying to be. You know, beliefs, you have to believe in yourself. So we have a huge system on building that belief up underneath of you saying, Yes, I can do this. Yes, I believe in myself. And all these beliefs that, you know, you've been taught growing up, like, honey, you got to finish your plate before you go out. And all the kids in Africa are going to be starving because you didn't finish your plate. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, please tell me how my food right here on my table in America is going to help some kid in Africa. If you tell me that, then I'm going to eat all the food on my plate. But until then, I'm going to stop when I'm full. So just kind of think about that when it comes to what you've been taught as growing up. We do it. We do it. We do it to our kids. We, you know, we want to make sure that they eat their food. But I mean, again, like as a parent, you want to make sure that your kid's getting the right food. So I mean, yeah, you want, you want them to eat all of their broccoli. I mean, that's good. It's like you want to make sure that they're getting their nutrients. But if they're full, they're full. Mm -hmm. Like they, they're listening to their bodies. And that's what, you know, we focus on you, your mindset, your belief, your attitude, and you know just loving yourself and the entire process because like it's a process you have to love the process you can't just love the end result because you like you got to find a way to stay happy during the entire time or it's, it's gonna be miserable but that's your mindset so there's a lot of hard truths to this it's tough you know it takes dedication willpower discipline habit i mean we we focus on habit forming so you know, a lot of you guys in the beginning, you struggle with, with vlogging your food. Mm -hmm. I've done this for four years. It's now a habit for me. So once you create that habit, once you get used to just meal prepping every day, once you get used to, you know, like eating those staple foods, it gets a lot easier. Once you get into habit of going to the gym, laying your clothes out for the workout the night before. So it's right in front of you when you wake up and you roll out of bed. So you don't have to worry about, eh, what am I going to wear to the gym? No, you don't have to worry about that. It's right there. So, you know, we want to share these truths with you because we don't like we don't want to scare you away from this whatsoever. Oh. This is this is something that, you know, everyone just has to hear because they need to hear it. And we like we're we're raw, we're honest with you, but we're also here to support you, to motivate you, to be that accountability partner that you need, that person behind you to help give you all the tips on going out to eat, to give you all the help on finding foods that, you know, help you reach your goals. If you have, you know, a certain scenario where, you know, you can't eat gluten or um, like if you're a vegan or vegetarian, like we find different ways to help you reach your goals while doing that. So again, focus on your goal. And just remember that the end result mm -hmm. of what you want, you, you want to get there. So you focus on your goal and you, like we said, it takes time, three months, five months, six months, eight months, but just keep that goal in your, in your thought and in your mind. And I'm telling you, when you finally get to the point where you're like, I did it, it's going to, that, that feeling of I did it is going to be worth way more than any food could ever fill. Yeah. Like once you've made it and you're like, I am so happy with the way I look. And I'm so happy that I went from 30% body fat down to 15%. I, 
-hmm. and career you went 15 whole percent down it's your that feeling inside you're just gonna it's just gonna it's gonna yeah. blow you away it really is yeah. and like you can get up and down off the floor with your kids you can go run around with them you can play sports with them like there's so many different ways that improving your health is just so so important so again um if you are looking for some coaching, we are here for you and to support you. So you can just contact us, send us a message, or email us at fitwithnutrition at gmail.com. It's going to be below here on the screen for you guys to check out as well. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out. We do free uh, phone call consultations as well. But happy weight loss, you guys. So we love you and your support on us. So do you have anything else, babe? Well, that's it. That's all I got. All right. Thanks, guys.